We begin the show today in Anambra State, where the government marked the Silver Jubilee of the state's creation with a dinner in Oka, the state capital. Glitz and glamour at the Governor's Lodge Amobia during the Grand Gala, climaxing the activities to mark the Silver Jubilee celebration of the creation of Anambra State. Governor Willie Obiano leads other government functionaries to mark this milestone. In the gathering was the former Vice President, Dr. Alex Okweme, former Nigerian Ambassador to Spain, Mrs. Bianca Ujuku, former Deputy Governor of Anambra State, Dame Virgie Etiaba, Deputy Governor, Mr. Emeka Sibudu, former CBN Governor, Professor Charles Soludo, and other political leaders, traditional rulers, elders, clergy, captains of industry, and friends of the state. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency thought that today needed to be celebrated. The state has gone through so much in terms of development, different military governors, different elected governors. And we have Kaboko Nike, who is fortunate by God's grace to be the governor during the period the state is celebrating 25 years. Goodbye, one at another offer. That's not keeping a measure. I think he's very fortunate to be the governor of this state. The state has been recognized as one of the focused states in this nation. When Governor Obiano mounted the podium, he told the story of the journey as a people, using the opportunity to thank them for their support. Yeah, no, I'm standing here tonight to tell you that there is so much work to do to build a better future for our children. But the government of Anambra State cannot do it alone. I'm standing here to remind you that the only way we can move this great state forward is to do it together. To think together, to push together, and to build together. Experience has shown that when people work together, they always win over them. This is probably the reason why, after 25 years of efforts of successive regimes to make this state a better place, Anambra is still a work in progress. Anambra State was created on August 27, 1991 by the then military president, General Ibrahim Babangida, with Orca being the capital. It's an Agarian state situated in the southeast geopolitical zone with an estimated population of over 4 million. It's bordered by Delta State on the west, Imo State to the south, Enugu State to the east, and Kogi State to the north. The current economic situation in the country notwithstanding, Governor Obiano believes there's a reason to celebrate. It is a thing of joy to realize that since the end of the Nigerian Civil War, the Anambra have never waited for any government to provide access routes, scholarships, electricity, community schools, town hall blocks, cottage industries, and recreational facilities for them. When we have always stepped out, the million unions to push the boundaries of modernity in our community. And we are necessary. Our industrious brothers and sisters have, have taken upon themselves to build important amenities in their communities and their personal contribution to community progress. So, Anambra has many philanthropists who find fulfillment in spreading joy in our communities. 
that is a heritage we share among them. Among us are also great entrepreneurs who have not only contributed to the growth of the nation's economy, but have also created thousands of jobs to keep our youths off the streets. One of the high points was the unveiling of the anniversary materials in lottery. Guests at the events were treated to various forms of entertainment, including comedy and musical performances. And just in time, some of the special guests joined the governor to cut the anniversary cake. 23, 25. The governor is optimistic that the state will achieve greatness and is asking all the number of indigents to join in achieving that target.